baby. It's okay. It's okay. guys hi good afternoon uh, this is Tiffany 100 plus I want to make sure that this is coming in clear I'm in the parking lot of the shelter and I don't know whether or not I should be on their Wi-Fi or not depending on if it's clear hi guys Clear. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, I am here at uh, Broward County Animal Care and Adoption um, to pick up Louie. You may have seen the post on our page that Amy posted. We got um, an urgent email from the shelter that that um, they got this dog in today and it needed desperately to get out with a rescue. Um, so we immediately jumped into action and put our rescue hold on him. Um, I ran down here to get him. Um, he's a French Bulldog. They have him as 10 months of age. Um, what we do know uh, is that they did a skin scrape and he is uh, Demodex positive. Um, he's got hookworms. Um, he was a stray brought in today by the police department. I asked them, you know, where he came from, how he got here. Oops, sorry, guys. Um, he came in with the police department. Uh, he was found tied to a pole. Just left, tied to a pole. And the uh, police department came and brought him. So... I am going to take this off me and I'm going to turn it on him. I just wanted to make sure that it was clear and give you guys a little backstory. Um, let me flip this. So this is Louie. I am taking Louie right now to Blue Pearl. Um, we know he has hookworms, but he's pretty pale. Um, so I want to take him there. He's going to have to have a parvo test. They did not do that at the shelter and he is under a year of age. So we do need to test him for parvo, parvo. Um, and we just want to make sure he's okay. Like I said, he's pretty pale. Um, obviously he's in horrific shape. He has, um, ulcers in both eyes. He's going to have to see an eye specialist eventually once we know that he is um, okay. <clears throat> but we got him out of the shelter as soon as we possibly could. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I think he has a little bit of a vision impairment from the ulcers because he kind of flinches when you go to touch him, almost like he's not sure or he didn't see it. Um, so he is definitely going to have to see the eye specialist, but we are going to go to Blue Pearl now um, to have him checked out and to have a parvo test done um, and to make sure he doesn't need any, um, any serious medical attention. He is just starved for affection and love. He just wants to have his head in my hand. Um, I do have the donate button. On this video guys we are going to need donations for Louie as I said I am taking him to Blue Pearl Animal Hospital right now and we're gonna have him parvo tested we're gonna have them pull some blood to make sure that he is not, not anemic to the point where he may need a transfusion or something along those lines um, he is definitely gonna need an eye specialist so I am um, begging all of you to please make a donation towards Louie. And of course, sorry guys, I was worried about that, sorry. Um, uh, as I was saying, I will be taking him to Blue Pearl now for a parvo test and then some blood work to make sure 
that he is not in need of any more um, serious attention right away. So if you could please make a donation towards Louis, we would be very grateful. Um, as I stated, he definitely needs to be treated for hookworms. He definitely needs to be. All right, guys, sorry. Hold on. All right, guys, sorry. Um, I'm going to pull out of the parking lot because, well, I have to get him to the vet first off. And secondly, on the internet, I'm having issues off the internet. I'm having issues. I think it's just this area because we're so close to the airport. Um, so I am going to oops, start driving and then hopefully the service will come back. <clears throat> hey, honey. So, um, as I was saying, I am taking him directly to Blue Pearl right now, where we will do a parvo test on him. They have him only as 10 months of age, so he's under a year, so he should definitely be parvo tested. Also, they said he had very dark red stool. Um, and then I want them to pull some blood because he is very pale. So I want to make sure we're not looking at a situation where he might need a blood transfusion. Um, so we are going to head to Blue Pearl so we can have that taken care of right away. And have it looked at right away. He will eventually also need to go see an eye specialist. He has um, ulcers in both eyes, which is causing a cloudiness of his eyes. Um, and I think some vision impairment too, um, because when you go to touch him, he flinches a little bit. And I don't know if it is because he isn't expecting you to touch him because he can't really see too well, or if it was from another sinister reason that I don't even want to think about. Um, they did say, even though he's only been in there today, they did notice that he was very shy and he would hide in the corner. Um, and he did come in today with uh, police officers. I don't know um, what city. I don't know where he was found. They didn't um, give me that information. They just said uh, that officers, um, police officers found him today and brought him in and he was uh, left tied to a pole, which is disgusting, disgusting. Um, it, I just can't even imagine. And it's like 90 something degrees today. And he's a Frenchie. He's brachiocephalic, which should not be in the heat for any extended amount of time because they can overheat very, very, very easily and could kill them. So I don't know how long he was tied to a pole, which is disgusting. Um, I don't know how he got in this condition, which is also disgusting for a 10 month old um, puppy, which means he was neglected probably his entire life for him to be in the condition that he is in right now. Um, so, no, no, don't go down there. Don't go down there. I know you're wagging your tail. I know. I know. You can't go down there, though. You sit down. You sit. Stay in your bed. Stay in your bed. Stay in your bed, sweetheart. You don't want to stay in your bed, do you? Oh, boy. Okay. Hold on. All right. Hold on.
He's going to put him up here, but he's going to stay back there. So uh, as soon as I sign off, I'm going to put this little netty thing up. But I wanted you to be able to see him. You wouldn't be able to see him with that up. Um, so again, guys, if you can, please, please make a donation towards Louie. Um, we don't have any idea what we're looking for, what we're looking at. Sorry, it's just looking at him just infuriates me and makes me so angry and so sad at the same time. Um, we don't know what we're looking at as far as medical goes for him. Um, but we do know that we are taking him straight to Blue Pearl, which we all know is costly. We also know that he is going to have to see an eye specialist, which is also costly. Um, so please, please, if you can, make a donation towards Louie. We just saved from Broward Animal Care, who was left tied to a pole in the Florida heat today and saved by police officers. Um, I wish I knew what city to thank for that, but I don't know. I, I have no idea what city it was in. <clears throat> I just know it was police officers that found him tied to a pole and brought him in today. So hopefully uh, you guys could hear me now and see now, um, now that I'm away from the shelter. And we are on our way, um, as I said, to Blue Pearl to have a parvo test done and have his blood work um, done to make sure that he doesn't need to be hospitalized immediately. So pray, guys, that it is not something where he needs to be immediately hospitalized. I'm praying that's not the case, um, but it is a possibility. You're so tired. I know. Ugh. Um, and again, guys, I will update, um, of course, I will update you guys uh, as soon as I have any information from the doctors um, at Blue Pearl once they examine and examine, sorry, I can't even speak, I'm so upset about this. Um, once they examine him and test what they need to test, and we have a plan in place, then of course I will jump on and I will update you guys. Um, as soon as I know, you guys will know. But again, um, the donate button is on this video and also in the verbiage are all the other ways you can donate. If you don't like donating through Facebook, we do have our PayPal link on there, our Venmo link, our cash app, link and then of course if you still um, prefer to write checks we do have our mailing address on there as well so several different ways that you can donate for Louie and we are going to do our part and get him everything that he needs Okay guys, I am going to sign off for now. We are now on 95, so I want to secure him and uh, get us to the hospital. So thank you all for your continued love and support. Thank you to everybody who donated or is going to donate for Louie. And I will keep you updated as soon as I know anything. I will let you guys know. This is Tiffany with our newest rescue, Louie, who we pulled from Broward Animal Care, who was left tied to a pole somewhere in Broward County. And this is Tiffany with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Thank you guys.